Hello front and welcome back once again to Strategic Command World War II War World at War, not war in Europe. I'm back in January 16th, 1942. Let's uh, see what we can do. There are a few things left here that I might or might not have to do. Actually, yeah, there are partisans both down here and up here. So I kind of have to move these guys back. Can't move in here, but I'm going to have to reshuffle my units around for a bit. To see if I can uh, do something about that situation out there. I'll be uh, moving these planes a bit closer as well. Let's see, are there any other partisan regions that are not actually defended? There are not. Uh, there's nothing here. All right, so that's working out. I've got these guys that uh, I can still move. Kind of interested to move these guys up here. All right, so more invasions going to start soon. I've got these guys all ready to go. These guys are ready to go. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to send these guys to Guam. I'll have to see whether there's anything there. But we don't have the MPP at the moment to do anything else with these forces. So might just as well keep it like this. And oh, I actually want to move these guys up here because I want to start targeting the units down here near Singapore. So I don't need to attack besides that. And this naval flotilla can actually bomb the submarine. So that's quite good. We're trying to take care of these guys up here. So that's uh, underway. There's still these guys, but we need more destroyers for that. And we simply don't have the MPP in order to deal with it. So, next up, everything around here can't really attack these guys, so I'll just uh, leave them around like that. Then up here, I'm pretty sure we've done everything we can or we can in Africa as well. That's all been taken care of, doing fine. And that's it. Couldn't destroy this unit once again. Nothing we can do. So, let's start dealing with Russia. So, now that we've moved into Russia proper there are basically I'm gonna start uh, going to the next phase of the plan so we've gone quite far but the enemy has a lot of units around Stalingrad it will take a long time before I'd be able to take that so what I want to do is I want to start building up a defensive position around Stalingrad itself basically on this side of the Don uh, with core units, so not with armies. Armies are going to move towards other locations in order to both try to capture Leningrad and Moscow. And then I'll hold this position of the, of the line with the Italian units while sending up the German units to the north. And just try and, you know, go for Moscow and Leningrad. And also the Caucasus oil fields need to be taken, which I'm going to try and do with the Romanians and the Hungarians, which hopefully will be powerful enough if the enemy just keeps too many units around Stalingrad itself. But yeah, that's how it's going to look like, or that's at least my strategy for now. Let's just see how this goes. Can't really use any of those two for the moment. With some luck, though, I might be able to take Krasnodar already. But I'm going to need some pretty good rolls for that, I think. Can you move in there now? Yes, you can. You can't move out. So I kind of have to push these guys back. Get these guys in here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Let's see if that allows me to take my cup too. No, it does not. 
Let's take only Krasnodar for now, then. Still pretty good deal. And, uh... Let's attack here, too. There's no way Sevastopol is gonna fall this turn. But we might get another shot later. So, first of all, if we take a look again at the Partisan regions, they can not really prevent the enemy from getting some unit there to reinforce those units back up to strength i mean i could put this unit here but it's just too dangerous and uh for these fighters kind of gonna put them here so these guys aren't connected currently which also means that i'm gonna need to push this but i can't so these guys will stay out of supply that way, which is a bit of a shame. All right, let's just keep going. Move these guys further along. Pretty much just repair these uh, these guys first. So you have all of this. Again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and have some defensive position here. These guys can't really aren't really under anybody's control. Um, I can also not put them on that that particular hex. So you hmm. all right. Let's just move them like this and I'll move you forward. Let's try to take Voronesh. Hopefully allows me to repair these back up to town. I still need to upgrade them though. And yeah, five is only up till eight. But I actually don't really want these guys here. Because I'm not looking to take Stalingrad. And uh, I actually think if I want to take Murmansk. So that will actually make sure that the Soviets will be cut off from some MPP. They'll be forced to, make, uh, to not go to Murmansk, but to Arkhangelsk. And I also... Hmm. Maybe though it's better if I just focus them on Army Group North for now. Yeah, let, let's do that. So I'll be sending all of these over here. And I, these guys aren't in uh, good enough supply yet. Either way, like I said, the Italians will go and defend this area while the Germans will try to go north. And I need to just get away from that particular area, too. And they're doing quite poor because they're three hexes away from Kursk. Kind of need to pull you back a bit. And yeah, the, the Italians will, will try to hold this, this line here. Um, right, if I move these guys onto Kursk itself, I can strategically redeploy them later. For now, I'm a bit, a bit surprised these guys can't be repaired. But I guess we'll have to make do. I'm gonna send these guys down. So I can make a solid defensive line over in this location as well. 
And we got this Italian uh, HQ coming up as well. I'm gonna take Smolensk. And then repair these units for the 1942 offensive as well. So I can go in here with the HQ in order to get some better supply. It gives one supply now, but gotta build that up a bit, unfortunately. So these guys, they can't really attack really Kaluki right now. So I'll actually just upgrade them a bit. And you need to be reinforced as well. Now, I also want to move up these units. They're going to be under this command from the from the Rundstedt HQ. Either way, that's another city taken. I also need to go and start moving towards Leningrad because, again, we're quite delayed already. And uh, this ain't looking too good. I'm in pretty bad shape here near Tallinn. And all right, I'll use these to attack and I can just block the uh, the route here. And these guys will take Talon. And afterwards, I'm going to prepare uh, for an attack on Novgorod. Okay. So, after that, I, I kind of need to move these guys out. We already knew there was a submarine there. They're actually blocking my route. Okay. The problem is I can't really destroy that there submarine. And that brings me to retreat the rest of my navy as well. And um, I'm just using all the available ports here that I, I can. Because I, I feel pretty safe in each individual port like that. Oh, okay, I'm done, Z. And that's also fine as long as I can just get back. Going to Lubeck as well. And then I'm pretty much out of that particular region. I always love how, you know, these odds are <laughs> then just completely reversed. You know, like, wh why did I attack in the first place? Mm. And they can switch up. Wow. This, this forces them to uh, repair for a bit. That's okay. Yeah. All right, so that does take care of those uh, those units. They're in hunting mode, so that looks uh, pretty fine. Actually, I think I might be best off sending more submarines into that location. And uh, I, I guess I'm gonna send them up north. Ah, well. Not entirely according to plan. Let's see. First of all, let's reinforce this submarine back up to nine. And yeah, these are all level eight. If I move you up here, what does it show? Four only. Should be able to get you back up to 10 there as well, indeed. So these are pretty much the only ports that I can actually use. 
Might just as well hang about. Not really interested in uh, getting into unnecessary attacks. Let's let's also send you back. All right. So that deals with the submarine situation as well. Then there's only purchasing left. I think, although I do have this here, uh, this unit. Let's see where I, actually I'm not done here. Need to put this unit here not to get any partisans at Morosovsk. But I also need to get a unit over in that particular spot down here. If I can. Not quiet on this turn. So I'll move you. Which is not ideal, but I really don't want any partisan to spawn behind my lines. And there's one that could technically spawn up there, but I, I can't move there. So... Yeah, that, that's... Actually pretty bad. Hmm. Well, it has nothing better to do. All right, being at 90, I, th I think, at least for the Germans, it's probably best to just uh, purchase another garrison. And for the Italians, I actually want to research. Yeah, it's the problem is it's going so slow that, but I can't invest another chit. So that that is. Uh, not going very well. I'll just go for infantry warfare here because uh, that increases morale, makes sure that my units do a little bit better, things like that. All right, let's ship it back to the enemy. It did take pretty long, actually. I thought I would be quite close to finishing that, but wasn't the case. Capture Smolensk, boost access morale, Soviet mor morale falls. Their morale falls with the loss of Voronezh as well. And we get the blue division, which is from Spain. Nice to be getting that. And we get to Sweden a bit closer. Rough seas there, exactly. Amphibious Warf level two, nice. That's some good research for the Japanese right there. We got hit pretty bad in Thailand and Manchuko as well because of those submarines. Really need more destroyers for the Japanese, but Despite having so much access in China, we still don't get that much MPP uh, from China itself. Maybe because they haven't fallen yet, and that might still expand, but uh, who knows. All right, so they're repairing at Sevastopol. These guys getting out of there means we can focus on other submarines soon. They're abandoning El Alamein. Or close to abandoning. Alright. <clears throat> That's not too bad. I'm actually quite slow in, uh, in China now. I wonder if they're going to try and retake Salsk here. I don't like where this unit is at because it's uh, in very poor state here. So that's definitely not good. But still, every city we take from the Soviets is good because we lower their MPP and that's definitely what we need to do. If we, at some point... are able to lower their MPP in by enough points. Wow, that's... Uh, then we will have secured victory.
Wow. That's pretty dicey. All the way to four. I did some damage too against army, so that's nice, but wow. Huh. Okay. So I'll have to retake that, but if that if they don't put another unit in Kaluga now, I can actually take it. That's really aggressive by the Soviets. I'm not sure whether I actually like that. But we'll see. Hmm. Ah, okay, they did put another unit in there, but it's a very weak one. That means that I, I think we can take Kaluga on the next turn. It's just I need to consolidate my position in the center. It's still quite wobbly. And the fact that I don't had didn't have a unit at Bryansk because I wanted to move. And it's definitely part of it. Enemy's turn also starting to take a lot longer right now. Right, I don't know how many units the uh, the Chinese have left, but I, I do think this must really be all of it. All right, Soviet partisans hinder supply and they get that unit there. So pretty much the only place where indeed they could get a unit and they got it there. It's unfortunate. Some British commandos start trading, and the Normandy Ocean Liner mysteriously sinks in New York Harbor. Well, wow. how mysterious. Surely has nothing to do with the Axis. Submarines, things like that? Definitely not. Heavy tanks, eh? Can we deploy in China? No. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I am. Let's see. It's not a good attack, though. Let's try to go after this here army. Some pretty poor results on my part. Also because of the abysmal terrain around that area. I'm sure. Well, if I can get this guy in Sion, hopefully that will improve a little bit. So let's actually see whether I can operate some of these to where I want them not actually how about you no all right so the problem here is that I need to get a unit in chunking and I can get this guy there which would already be okay Okay, I guess. But, yeah. All right. Let's keep attacking. Let's keep moving. And 
Having these on the road. Should have done this first. Hmm. Still gonna attack. Even if it's just to lower their uh, entrenchments. Oh, and three. Even if I... Okay, great. Yeah, that, that's really good. So... That way I can... Cut off the enemy here. Start moving these guys up and this as well. Got at least that unit in Chongqing and then I need to send this one over to the mountains up here. I don't have the range. Alright, I'll again actually bomb them. Lower their morale, lower their efficiency. And I'm pretty sure they're doing quite poor in MPP, so every little bit of damage that I can do is is good. Let's just make sure they don't die. And I will send you back to Switch these up, attack again, and take that city. The British have advanced further than I would have liked. Can't take Mandalay now, but I... I'm still doing pretty good. All right. That I will take care of the city next turn, so that I'm kind of just blocked up here, and then I'll try to start moving north, potentially towards the Pang Sao Pass. And I will start trying to take these oil fields, if not small, and it will also at least stop the British from going into that direction. They have entrenchments. Let's try and get rid of that. And their morale and, and such as well. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is attack. Because then their entrenchment is now zero. And they're at naval, tactical. Okay, good. Those guys did the damage that I wanted. Now, now for these. No effect, huh? I need another HQ down there. And that would be this one. But... Hmm. Still zero, huh? Don't like those odds. Whereas they are definitely in uh, the correct mode. They're naval tactical. Come on, don't, don't tell me I can't actually destroy these guys. Yeah, I have a feeling that that's not <laughs> really going to work out for me. All right. Did I already declare war on Dutch New Guinea? Not uh, sure, actually. Hmm. 
Now well, that's interesting. And they're also in naval tactical mode. They can only attack once. This is actually extremely dangerous. So kind of need to protect these units here. And yeah, they certainly don't have the range. So I guess this is very, very risky, but <laughs> all right. Let's get these guys going. You as well. These guys will go into a transport on the next turn. And this is also Dutch East Indies. Okay, I will declare war on the, the Dutch East Indies. I think I have to. Diplomacy. So let's just uh, see here because this is Spanish Guinea, Portuguese, East New Guinea. I guess it's just New Guinea in itself, at least here. And just like that. Okay, that's at least one of them, or at least uh, one port. And that now belongs to me. Uh, yes. I guess I just pretty much need to have more of these guys around here. Actually, I can uh, can send these over down here. They will land there on the next turn. So that's great. And I'm pretty much out of MPP again already. Just trying to set up these attacks is quite uh, tough to do. Well, I mean, it costs a lot of MPP. That that's pretty much the problem. If I can destroy their supply, then it might be a bit easier to, to take that down. I'll see how it goes and whether the enemy will try to retaliate. Their closest base is in Hawaii, so they might not be able to get there and attack, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So. I was trying to get these around. All right, that, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, let's take this already. We, we don't get anything from this oil. They might retake it, but then we'll destroy them. Next turn, I will also deal with Africa and the situation in Russia again. For now, though, I want to thank you all for watching this episode. Do hope you enjoyed it, and we'll continue the battle in the next one. So take care, and see you there.